In this video, I'm going to the snowy mountains to see if I can still remember how to snowboard. So at the moment, it's suitably cold for the ski resorts to be open. And as I'm into that sort of thing, I've decided to go and pay it a visit. It's about a five and a half hour drive from here. So that by default means it's time for an atrocious montage, starting with me trying to put a rooftop tent on the top of my car by myself. So hopefully you've now had enough of that nonsense. Now it's time to go in search of a campsite. And on the way I stopped off at an interesting looking place. And unfortunately for you lot, the drone is alive again. So you can now sit through several seconds of drone footage to make up for the loss in the last video. Now every one of you at some point in your life has wondered what it looks like down the top of a chimney. So now I'm gracious enough to show you. I would say that as far as campsites go, not too bad. It's going to get dark soon, so I've decided to do a cooking show in the style of a popular YouTube show. Chop this. Chop that some more. Dick joke. Product placement. Dick joke. Dick joke. Product placement. Boys. The boys. Boys. Cook this on my product placement.
So I have equipped myself with a potato and thrown it at the floor. Now if I stay perfectly still, let's see what kind of wildlife shows up. Now the trick is to sit here and look as unhuman as possible. So to do this, I have adopted this glamorous pose. Let the possuming commence. Don't you steal my potatoes. Or walk into a puddle, you clumsy creature. I said, don't eat my potatoes. Watch the puddle this time. Now look, Stephen, if you really want a potato, you can come and get one. The following morning, Stephen decided to show his gratitude by leaving me some thoughtful gifts. Now I've actually had a few questions regarding all the suspension work I've been doing lately, and on this trek there's a few opportune rocks, so I thought I'd drive up one of them and see for myself how it's all sitting. And from what I can tell, I'm pretty satisfied with it. I don't think I'll be changing anything for the foreseeable future. This time, we ended up leaving the campsite pretty late. And if you're planning on going skiing or snowboarding, this is a terrible thing to do. It turns out if you end up in this situation, you end up stuck in about six kilometers of gridlock traffic. So what better reason to get the drone out? As it turns out, the better reason to not get the drone out is because the wind above the tree lines is pretty much gale force and you lose control as soon as you go above 20 meters or so in height. Coupled with this, I almost immediately lost reception from the controller, and the drone decided to career straight into a tree. If you're interested in hiring a professional drone pilot, leave a comment down below. However, this service is not cheap, and you'll certainly not get what you pay for. Now I won't bore you with another snowboarding montage, but to summarize, it went something like this. Daddy. I'm not your daddy. <laughs> I hope not anyway. <laughs> Think they ready for this one? Jump in the pit. Now believe it or not, in my teenage years I used to be a snowboarding instructor and in case you haven't noticed, I'm no longer in my teenage years and I think it's amazing how terrible someone can become at a sport that they used to put so much time into and as a result, these days I'm an absolutely terrible snowboarder.